If you're watching this, you've probably heard that cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing and highest paying fields out there. But what no one tells you is how to actually break in without prior experience or a degree. You might have seen the job postings that go on like, must have five plus years of experience, must hold CSSP, OSCP, and other confusing certifications. Degree in cybersecurity preferred. It feels impossible, right? But what if I tell you there's a proven way to land a six-figure cybersecurity job without a degree, without prior IT experience, and without spending years lost in endless certifications? By the end of this video, you'll have a clear step-by-step -step roadmap that takes you from beginner to your first cybersecurity job, and eventually, that 100k salary. And here's something most people won't tell you. There's a hidden shortcut that drastically speeds up your career progress, something I'll reveal later in the video. But first, let's break down why so many people struggle to break into cybersecurity and how to avoid the most common mistakes. I see people making the same mistakes over and over again when trying to get into cybersecurity. The first mistake? They try to learn everything at once. They start with penetration testing, then jump to cloud security, then SOC analysis. And before they know it, they feel completely lost and overwhelmed. The second mistake? They believe outdated career advice. People still think that the only way to get a job in cybersecurity is by getting a four-year degree in computer science. The truth? Employers care far more about skills and real-world experience than they do about a diploma. But here's the good news. You don't need to learn everything, and you don't need a degree. You just need the right plan. Cybersecurity is a massive field, but you don't need to master all of it. The trick is to find the role that best fits you and focus on that. Let me break it down for you. If you love problem solving, finding security gaps, and thinking like a hacker, then penetration testing or ethical hacking could be the perfect fit for you. If you're more into defending systems, detecting threats, and responding to attacks in real time, then working as a SOC analyst or an incident responder would be a great path. And if you like the idea of creating security policies, managing risks, and ensuring compliance with regulations, then cybersecurity management or compliance could be the right choice. The key here is to choose one area and specialize. Don't try to learn everything at once. It's the fastest way to get stuck. And here's something interesting. Some cybersecurity jobs actually pay six figures within six to 12 months of experience. I'll tell you which ones later in this video. But first, let's talk about the core knowledge you absolutely need to get started. Before jumping into certifications, let's make sure you understand the basics first. If you don't have a solid foundation, you'll struggle later on when learning advanced topics. There are three core areas you need to focus on. Networking, operating systems, and cybersecurity fundamentals. Let's break it down one by one. Understanding network. How the internet actually works. Think about it. Cybersecurity is all about protecting networks and systems. But if you don't know how networks actually work, how are you going to secure them? You don't need to become a networking expert, but you do need to understand the basics. Here's what's most important. How devices communicate. This includes things like TCP IP, the OSI model, IP addresses, and subnetting. These are the building blocks of the internet. Ever heard of common protocols like HTTP and HTTPS? What about DNS, FTP, or SSH? These are the languages computers use to communicate and knowing how they work is crucial for understanding security threats. Firewalls, VPNs, and proxies. These are tools used to secure networks. And if you're going into cybersecurity, you'll need to know how they work and how attackers try to bypass them. Where to learn these networking basics? Cisco's Networking Basics by Netacad is a great free course for beginners. This free tool lets you capture and analyze real network traffic a must-know for cybersecurity professionals. Next, you should focus on learning operating systems, the battleground of cybersecurity. Most cyber attacks don't happen in theory. They happen on real systems. And the two most targeted systems, Windows and Linux. If you want to work in cybersecurity, you need to be comfortable using both. Here's what you should focus on. Basic Windows and Linux commands. You don't need to be a programmer, but knowing how to navigate these systems using command lines will give you a huge advantage. File permissions and access controls. Ever wondered how a hacker gains admin access to a system? Understanding permissions will help you spot security weaknesses. Log analysis. A huge part of cybersecurity is detecting threats before they cause damage. 
learning how to analyze logs will help you catch attackers in action. Where to learn these operating system fundamentals? Try Hackme's Windows Fundamentals and Linux Fundamentals is super beginner-friendly and interactive. Next, set up a home lab. Use VirtualBox to install Kali Linux and a Windows VM so you can practice in a safe environment. The next thing you should learn is Cybersecurity Fundamentals, your defensive toolkit. Once you've got a handle on how networks work and how systems operate, it's time to learn how cyber attacks happen and how to stop them. Here's what to focus on. Types of cyber phishing, malware, ransomware, DDoS attacks. You've probably heard of these, but do you actually understand how they work? You don't need to be a cryptographer, but knowing the basics of AES, SJ-256 and TLS will help you understand how data is protected. SIEM tools, security information and event management. These tools help organizations detect and respond to cyber threats in real time. Learning tools like Splunk or Security Onion can make you stand out in job applications. Where to learn these cybersecurity fundamentals? Cybrary's Introduction to Cybersecurity is a free course that covers the basics. You can download Security Onion, a free and open source SIEM tool. This will give you hands-on experience analyzing real cyber threats. What next? How do you prove your expertise? One simple answer. Get certified. Let's find out some best entry-level certifications. ISC Squares Certified in Cybersecurity is perfect for absolute beginners with no IT background. CompTIA's Security Plus is the best general entry-level cert. ISECA Certified Cybersecurity Operations Analyst is another great certification for SOC Analyst or Threat Intelligence roles. EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker is what you should try if you want to get into penetration testing. Next, you should aim for advanced certifications for higher salaries. CISSP required for management and high-level security roles. A must-have for ethical hackers. Now challenge time. You've got the roadmap, now it's time to take action. Which cybersecurity certification are you going to commit to first? Drop your certification goal in the comments below and let's see who's ready to level up their career. Let's make it happen. Now let's talk about the most challenging part. How to gain experience. Even without a job, how am I supposed to get experience when every job requires experience? It's frustrating. But here's the secret. You don't need a formal job to gain hands-on experience in cybersecurity. You can create it yourself. Let me show you how. Build your own home lab. Think of this as your personal cybersecurity playground. Set up virtual machines, practice ethical hacking, and learn security configurations, all from your own computer. You can use VirtualBox or VMware to create a test environment. Install Kali Linux and a Windows VM to practice hacking and defending. Bug bounty hunting. Did you know companies will actually pay you to hack them legally? Platforms like HackerOne and Bug Crowd run programs where you can find and report security flaws in real-world applications. The best part? Even if you don't earn money at first, you're building a resume-worthy track record. Contribute to open source security projects. Many cybersecurity tools are open source, which means anyone can contribute. Helping out with projects on GitHub doesn't just boost your skills, it shows employers that you can solve real-world security problems. Compete and capture the flag, CTF challenges. CTFs are hands-on cybersecurity competitions that simulate real-world security problems. Sites like TryHackMe and HackTheBox let you test your skills in ethical hacking, forensics, and network security. And guess what? Employers love seeing CTF experience on a resume. Why this matters? This isn't just practice. This is real-world experience you can list on your resume. If you contribute to an open-source project, report vulnerabilities, or win CTF challenges, you're proving your skills before you even land a job. And once you've built this experience, it's time to apply for jobs that pay serious money. Let's talk about one of the fastest ways to reach a 100k salary in cybersecurity. How to land your first job and hit 100k. Now, if you want to fast track your career, let me introduce you to a high paying cybersecurity job that requires way less experience than you think. Cloud Security Engineer. Companies are desperate for professionals who can secure cloud environments like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. The best part? There's a huge talent gap. 
meaning even entry-level cloud security roles pay six figures after just six to 12 months of ex How do you get there? Step one, get AWS or Azure or GCP certified. The Cloud Security Specialist Certification is your golden ticket into cloud security. It proves you know how to secure cloud environments. Step two, get hands-on experience. You don't need a job for this. Set up your own AWS or Azure or GCP account and practice configuring security settings, access controls, and monitoring tools like CloudTrail and GuardDuty. The cloud providers use different names for different services, so don't get confused. Follow guided labs on AWS Skill Builder or Cloud Academy to get practical experience. Step 3. Apply for cloud security roles. Even with 6 to 12 months of hands-on experience, you can start applying for entry-level cloud security jobs. The bottom line, what this means for you. So here's the deal. Cloud security is exploding right now. Companies are moving everything to the cloud, but they don't have enough skilled professionals to secure it. That's where you come in. Unlike traditional cybersecurity paths that take years to hit six figures, cloud security lets you fast track your career. If you focus on AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud Security, you can land high-paying roles much faster than most people realize. And the best part? The demand is only increasing. If you start now, you'll be ahead of the curve while others are still figuring out where to begin. Final steps. By now, you have a clarity on how to break into cybersecurity. You know what foundation to build, networking, operating systems, and cybersecurity fundamentals. You know which certifications actually matter and which ones will give you the best ROI. You have a strategy to gain real-world experience even before landing your first job. And you now know about one of the fastest paths to a six-figure salary, cloud security. All right, now you have a clear roadmap. You know what skills to build, which certifications actually matter, and how to get real-world experience, even without a job. But here's the key. Knowledge is useless without action. So. Here's my challenge for you. Are you ready to commit to your cybersecurity journey? If you're serious about getting started, drop a comment saying six months roadmap and I'll send you my free exclusive guide on how to go from beginner to job ready in just six months. This guide breaks down exactly what to do week by week, so you're not stuck wondering what to learn next. Drop six months roadmap in the comments and let's get you on the fast track to your first cybersecurity job. I will see you in the next one.